Fellas, thank you. Urban's right. This can be a very tough environment. A stroke of marketing genius about 10 years ago. But a new twist tonight. Fireworks. Pyro blowing around in this windy evening, Kurt. Lions making a grand entrance. Unity is the reason behind the whiteout, trying to bring this crowd of more than 105,000 together and impose themselves on the visitors from Ohio State, one of the great road teams we have seen in the history of this sport. 20 straight true road victories. And there is Saquon Barkley, the guy that Kirk highlighted in the opening. Can he have a big game as he did a year ago in a loss in Columbus? Urban drives it, and it'll go through the end zone. From left over to right tackle. On second and five, a delayed handoff, but Barkley's got room. Saquon Barkley barreling out near midfield. And there is a play-action pass, and it's Mike Kosicki, the tight end. Gangly, dangerous receiver speeding down inside the Ohio State 30. American in high school basketball and football. And now McSorley. He's kind of an elusive guy, weaving his way for a nice gain on first down. Shows you. It's blocked. Ohio State blocks it. And the streak ends. Trying to pick it up and return it is Damon Webb. He's trying to get some blocks on the far side. A flag comes in on the return. He'll be pushed out near the 30, but so much for 18 in a row by Tyler Davis. Second possession for Ohio State. Weber is smacked in the backfield. Back in to the right of McSorley. And they feed it to him. Barkley bursting into the secondary. In the Buckeye territory at the 40. Here's Gilligan. The freshman trying to knock the ball deep. Drops the point. Kicks it with backspin. It's a tricky night for, for returners. And it was muffed there. Buckeyes retain possession, but... Barrett from the pocket, escapes, not for long though, and there is Brandon Bell off the edge. He ain't playing 20 snaps tonight, he wants to make an impact. Do there with his quickness. Johnston get into the wind, the last one was 54 yards, this one not quite as good, but it's muffed. And the ball fought for, and Ohio State has cashed in the takeaway. Terry McLaurin, the receiver, we knew it would be a tough night for special teams, and that was an ill-advised attempt by John Reed there. Yeah, the corner, who is the punt return man, and McLaurin all... Weber bounces it, gets blocks. Stiff arm down inside the 20, hit out of bounds. And Durbin knocks it through. So after the muffed punt by John Reed, the Buckeyes move it 22 yards and take the lead. Yeah. McSorley scampers free and shows his quickness. Moves the sticks for a first down. See, empty backfield on third and seven. Barrett steps up and delivers a strike for a first down, and they get Samuel. Lions back out, don't blitz, and Barrett has all day, flips it short, Paris Campbell makes the catch, fighting, but does not get first down yard, it's fourth and two. Barrett, keeping all the way, and makes the first down, and a lot more down inside the 30, predictable, but tough to stop. Barrett from the pocket, flips it short, ball the tight end, just banging off people, spinning, staying alive, and scoring! Touchdown, Ohio State. And you deserve to flex after making a catch and run like that. Acrobatic move there. Yeah. All oh, the snap not handled cleanly, and the extra point is missed by Durbin. On a cold night, it's been tricky. Football perhaps a little bit wet. And the safety makes it very easy. And the best thing that JT Barrett did was he saw it right away and quickly got the ball thrown out to Marcus Ball. But now that he makes the catch, he can lower his shoulder right there, take the hit from Haley, and now fight to try to get to the end zone. So great effort by the tight. Barrett needs four on this third down. He has good protection and delivers. That's Samuel with a little cushion there. First down out near midfield. Lions bring 
Defensive pressure. Barrett still escapes. Are you kidding me? JT Barrett galloping free dives down near the 30. They had him wrapped up, and he refused to go down. Barrett again from the pocket. And fires downfield just before he's going to get tackled. And Terry McLaurin, the receiver, makes the catch down inside the 15. From 30. And drives it right through. So Ohio State moves it 58 yards, nine plays, and adds to the lead here, 12 nothing. And McSorley from the pocket, fires complete. Godwin has a first down of the first completion in a long time. Lions in this now in midfield. Barkley's okay, he's in the game, blocking the blitz as McSorley runs for his life and loops it downfield. And the catch is made down near the 20-yard line. Play action. He's going to take a shot for the end zone again. Jump ball. Godwin's got a touchdown. Penn State. One up to the top. Now you just got to put it up and away. I'll tell you, Gary and Conley, I think he looked up and found the football, but I think you got to give Godwin a lot of credit. He used his arms, and the, the position of the football gave Godwin a chance to come back, kind of that back shoulder. He's not an irregular kicker. Waters was later thrown out of the game for targeting Julius, not on that play, but on another one. And then Maryland got thrown out for unsportsmanlike conduct. And Penn State is going to go to the locker room down only five after the Buckeyes have put together a couple productive drives. There are a little tempers flaring at the end of that half. And JT pressured. That time he cannot escape. Evan Schwan and Garrett. Sicky stays in the block, then releases. McSorley steps up and fires over the head of his receiver, Saeed Blacknell, and it's fourth down. Samuel running right, cuts it back. Curtis Samuel in the clear. A foot race. They will not catch him, and the Buckeyes strike quickly. Early third quarter, 74 yards. Mike Weber here lead the way right there and set that up, that alley. That was Jason Kambinda who was trying to fill the hole, and it was Mike Weber who blew it up. Gillikin has it snapped way over his head, and the freshman has to give chase. He falls on it to prevent a touchdown, but it'll be a safety for Ohio State and another special teams miscue tonight. Of him, He never even touched the football. Just sailed. Tyler Yazujian is a really reliable long snapper normally, but he is mutual from the Cavs and the Buckeyes. Third and 11. This time they do drop back and spy Bear, but that opens things up for Marcus Baugh, who makes the catch and gets the first down. All right. It's a fluid thing. It's like the rankings. Right. Sorley takes off and flips it to a wide open Gesicki, who fell down, had nothing but space in front of him. Ankle problem. He's far from 100%. Trying to tough it out. And now Barkley with a burst. Barkley gets away and gallops down inside the 40. He got right around Malik Hooker, the normally reliable safety. Well, it's a zone read. They're reading Bosa. But watch the block here by the right tackle. Man. Double team, climbs up to the linebacker. That's what freed Barkley there, but they read the defensive end, Nick Bosa. The game, and Miles Sanders, the freshman, is in as McSorley fakes it to him and now goes downfield, looping throw. Blacknall has got it inside the five. Saeed Blacknall beat Marshawn Lattimore. I think Ohio State is all of a sudden taking their eye off the ball here and losing a little bit of their aggression. Ball goes up in the air. Again, quarterback rolling out, chased by Worley, and diving for the pylon, touchdown! Trace McSorley makes up for the misfire by taking it in himself, and Penn State's still in it. What great speed to get around the edge there, around Worley, and also Raekwon. Cards in five plays to cut it to seven. High snap, Barrett corrals it out of the balls on the ground, and Penn State says they have it. Weber may have gotten the ball back after a mishandled exchange. Spectacular. He's a weapon. But it's blocked. Blocked by Penn State. The ball 
will be turned over inside the 30-yard line. Troy Apke, a backup safety, collects it, and Penn State special teams makes a huge play. He's a true freshman. It's 6'5", 220 pounds. He got his right hand on it to knock that ball away. And he knocks it right through. But after the block punt from Penn State special teams, they don't get the, the tying touchdown, have to settle for three. JT from the pocket now. Delivers across the middle. Brown's running free. Noah Brown, a big catch and run into Penn State territory. Barrett running all the way. All that window dressing with those receivers trip left. You know the quarterback's going to take it up the middle. Rear long attempt for Tyler Durbin is super reliable inside of 40. This is from 45 and it's blocked. Lions scoop it up. Brad Haley will score! Marcus Alex him in the back. He gets a running start. Not only does he go up, but he goes through the line. He actually jumped into the line. He didn't get up on top of anybody, but he went, he used his acceleration to allow him to get up into the air and then also towards the kicker. McSorley. Lions rush four. Barrett has to step up and delivers over the middle to Samuel, and they move the sticks. Clutch. 31 yards. Barrett going downfield, taking a deep shot, and it's off the helmet. James Clark was out there, and then it bounced off his head. Jordan Smith was in coverage. It was a great throw. I, I don't know if he lost the football. If the ball bounced on, looked like off of his forehead, right off of his helmet. Ball is thrown right on the money here. Right hand, he yep. uses to pull down here, right off the face. First was screen for interference, but that was a, that was close. Barrett. Jason Cabinda got him. It's fourth and real long. They slant the defensive line this way, and they bring Cabinda around to the right of Isaiah Prince, 59. See how he collapsed down? Made it easy for Cabinda to come down. Well-designed blitz there by Penn State and Brent Fry, and the leader who has missed the last four games comes up with a huge play for the Nittany Lion defense. And Ohio... Barrett steps up. Pressure to get it dropped. And Penn State is going to get their signature win on a whiteout night in Happy Valley. Force JT Barrett to step up into the pocket, and there's nowhere for him to go. Turk, has the biggest surprise been to you, Ohio State offensive line's inability to control the big plays? Their offense with McSorley didn't look like they were going to have enough tonight, but they did. They came up with it, and this is a big one. Not since 1964 is an unranked Penn State team beating an opponent ranked in the top two. Way before all these students were born and their parents were born. A night that those here will not forget. The Penn State family. Sam has Coach Franklin. Well, Chris, I, I can't hear you. Happy for our kids, I really am. It's happy for our kids. Well, kids, the former players, the Letterman, this town has been through a lot. So this is starting our healing process tonight. So couldn't be proud. Coach, when you look at the performance that your defensive line had against an impressive offensive line and the penetration that they got tonight, what can you say about their performance? I want to say something.
something real quick. My, uh, my niece and nephew, Kendra Jeremy, lost their dad on Tuesday night. And this game, and this win is for them as well. Which I appreciate you saying that last Well, this Valley hasn't been this happy in a long time. And there are plenty of heroes and overflowing emotions on the Penn State side. The last win that they had, I think maybe you'd have 2005 to go back. Yeah, when they beat Ohio go, State. Perhaps you'd have to go back more than it's a decade. It's a long I think. time. I mean, it, this is a big opportunity, and, and uh, you know, it, it got off to a slow start when they were down. A monumental whiteout night for Penn State. And we'll see you next week from Tallahassee.